1700s, but for the first 200 years or so they were pretty risky and more often than not ended up killing rather than curing the patient. That all changed in 1901 with the discovery of blood groups, an inherent, inherited characteristic of blood. Nicole Thornton from the NHS Blood and Transplant is here to tell me more while I do my bit donating my half an armful. So where does my blood group come from? So your blood group is determined by the genes that you inherit from your mother and father. And when we're talking about the ABO blood group system, there are four main blood types, which is what most people call them. We call them phenotypes. Mm -hmm. And we have group A, group B, group O, and group AB. The genetic basis of the ABO blood group system is um, the ABO gene, which is located on chromosome nine and you will inherit um, a copy from both your mum and one from your dad mm -hmm. and depending on the version of that gene that you inherit from your parents this will then determine what your blood type is. So what is a blood group? Well essentially a blood group is determined by the antigens that are present on our red cells and the ability to be able to detect those antigens. And an antigen is basically a structure on your red cells um, and it can be a protein or a carbohydrate. A group A person has A antigen on their cells, a group B person has B antigen on their cells, an AB person has both antigens and a group O person doesn't have any. When somebody has the antigen, they don't have the antibody to that antigen. So if they are lacking the antigen, their body has naturally occurring antibodies that um, are against the antigen that they lack. So if you were to receive blood of the wrong type, your body would attack the foreign antigen. And so I'm group O, what does that mean? So because you're group O, that means that you're a very, very useful donor because you don't have any A or B antigen on your cells, which means your cells can go to anyone else of any blood type. So people, lots of people can have my blood, um, How? What, what about me, what can I have if I needed a blood transfusion? Unfortunately it means that you can only receive group O because you have anti-A and anti-B in your plasma. So if you were to receive any cells that had that antigen on them, your body would attack them. that I work in is the International Blood Group Reference Laboratory. We um, investigate rare blood groups, so not just the ABO system because there are many other blood group systems. There's actually um, currently 34 blood group systems and that encompasses around about 300 antigens. We're discovering new ones all the time. Um, and also there are some antigens that aren't assigned to a gene yet. We call them the orphans. And um, we're always um, researching and trying to find the genetic background to some of these antigens. Um, so we uh, investigate rare um, mutations that then um, give rise to the lack of antigens that most people may have. Mm. And once again, if you don't have the antigen, you can then um, possibly make the antibody to that antigen. It can make transfusion very difficult or finding compatible blood very difficult. So as we've heard, there are loads of different types of blood groups, not just ABO, but many more besides. That's why it's so important that we get as many people donating as possible from a wide variety of backgrounds. I've done my bit, I'm off to get my help.